This is the new city palace of Stuttgart, located right in the heart of the city a few meters from the central station, built at the end of the 18th century. With 365 rooms and its baroque style, it was built to be the room of the kings of Württemberg. Now surrounded by gardens, the palace squares and the palace garden which connect with the Rosenstein Park. It is one of the most important architectural reference in the city and the main meeting point for locals and visitors within the city. If you are interested in visiting this city, we invite you to join us on this short tour in which you will learn some important information that you should know before visiting us. We also take the opportunity to invite you to subscribe to this channel. Around the new palace you will find several historical and important buildings. One of them is the Königbau, which is the first commercial center in the city built by the King Wilhelm II at the beginning of the 19th century. In addition, it's opera and theater. With a strike facade, a classic design with high pillars divided in two the Kleines House and the Grosses House, which means a large hall and a small one. A historic building of the few that are still almost original, since the large and the main hall is the only built within the city center that was not destroyed in the Second World War. Now it is the perfect setting to watch and enjoy the performances of the city's famous ballet and opera. In front of it, the palace garden with its artificial lagoons, large green areas, a collection of sculptures that gives an elegance to this entire area that reminds us the birth of the Wuttenberg Kingdom. Another historical building, iconic of the city, is the old castle, with a medieval appearance between Schiller Square, Mark Square, the Stiftkirche, the Markhalle, which is the old market. All of it is a very small area that together with the new palace represent in a whole the historical city center for its old classic appearance. The first castle dates from the year 650 after Christ and practically marks the beginning of the settlement that began as a house to raise horses for the autumn, the greatest Roman emperor army. And it was not until the 16th centuries that it was remodeled inside with a Renaissance style to be the residence of the Dukes of Wittenberg in that time. Its facility has suffered fires and even total destruction in World War II. But it was rebuilt again, trying to preserve its original appearance as much as possible. Today is the house of the Wittenberg State Museum, with an anthropological presentation of the entire Swabian region until the creation of the Wuttenberg Kingdom, a collection that you cannot miss when you visit the city. Around the perimeter of the city center, there is much more to discover. Walking through small streets, many of them narrow, you will find a great variety of places, squares, stores, cafes and restaurants. One popular and important spot is the Market Square, called the Market Square because in the past it used to be the place where the citizens met to exchange goods and products. Now it is the square where the city hall building is mainly located. Apart from being surrounded with many fashion boutiques, and it is the headquarters of festivals such as the Festival of Cultures and also the Christmas Market. On the next block, you will find also another building that you cannot miss on your visit. It is the Markhalle. This is the old market of the city, built in the 19th century. It was the first market that was built to replace what was the open-air market in the square to a more dignified place. 
close it and cover it for local farmers and vendors can work during the winters without any problem. This is still preserved with a very elegant concept with international culinary specialties. Another important aspect of the city is to highlight that Stuttgart is one of the greenest cities in all Germany. You will find a lot of parks and green areas. Gardening was one of the passions inherited from the kings of Württemberg, especially its king Wilhelm I. There are very well worked green areas such as Rosenstein Park, Palace Garden, Killesberg Park and all the road known as U Green of Stuttgart which connect more than 15 kilometers of green areas between parks and trails for walking, cycling or skating. In addition to many attractions like mechanical games, games for children, areas with farms animals, artificial lagoons, flower exhibition, restaurants, beer garden, mineral water pools and so many other things. Something very representative of the city in terms of its economic development and that obviously also influenced its appearance is its wine culture. The special topography of being between mountains and hills, in addition to its cold and sunny climate in summer, makes this region perfect for the production of wine. The number of paths between wine yards attracts a lot of attention and to do walking tours through all these paths is one of the main activities for locals but also for tourists interested in learning about this topic. Another historical aspect that the city also represents in its economic development is the automotive industry. The Bad Cancer district next to the Neckar river that divides within the city of Stuttgart is the cradle of Daimler Motors, developers and owners of Mercedes-Benz cars brand. And also, not less important, this city is the headquarters of the Porsche's Auto brand. Its museums being one of the tourist attractions to visit. This shows not only the historical relevance of the city of Stuttgart, but also shows us the most important facet to current economic level and the collaboration with the development of the humanity worldwide. The development of the highest technology in the automotive industry. The city of Stuttgart was never intended to be a large city, and it is not a old city in Europe. Its beauty does not lie in pretending to be a very sophisticated city, but Stuttgart was designed to be a place to have a high standard of living, very comfortable for families, with many impressive natural views, with parks and extensive green areas for a healthy recreation of citizens. A city that likes to promote its culture, its values and traditions. That is why knowing it is exploring its surroundings in search of tranquility. It is not a place for youth parties, but it is for traditional festival to be enjoyed with family. Long walks along trails, forests, vine yards, decorated gardens between artificial lagoons, viewpoints and visited small palaces dating from different times of the state of Württemberg. Being of the banks of the Neckar River and its vine yard, its small valley where the historical center is located surrounded by mountains and hills, make it a very unique city in Germany, where you can appreciate very nice views of the city with the appearance of an agricultural town, but which actually hides one of the most strategic cities in all Germany, with a strong economy, with a very influential business and industrial sector in the development of technology and engineering. With the last images, I have to say goodbye. And I take the opportunity to invite you to subscribe to this channel. If you plan to visit the city or move very soon to study or work either in the city of Stuttgart or its surroundings in the state of Baden-Württemberg or anywhere in Germany, subscribe to this channel. 
we bring you more videos with tourist information in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching and see you next time.